I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and try out a, type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor, let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Tana, <laughs> Tana doesn't count, Polish. I wish she could, but she doesn't. Dogs don't count? <laughs> of all the inhumanity. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang out, hang out soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. Guy Prime on Dad Dream Daddy would be hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could totally, totally see his character. Guy Prime Dream Daddy. We need a, a Guy Prime DLC in Dream Daddy. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. Because we need our side, we need our side hustle. Drum edition. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Imagine the, the, his hair so high. <laughs> Yo, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Ah. And just a collage for class, we're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. The height, the height of his hair. Okay, you got it, ate it. You got it eventually. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Ah. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Ah. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then, <laughs> this is a really bad run on sentence, and then someone hit, uh, hit a ball towards me and I just ran off the field crying. And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. Oh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient so I thought you were a giant... <laughs> Sentient softball. Okay, I see. I see what she's saying. So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's go. Let's do this. Sorry, trouble typing tonight. He'd like that. <laughs> 8-bit, are you going to have to put the kids to bed soon? Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamor up the ble bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Ugh. So when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for, children fighting for my amusement. Oh. Definitely not that. The game- Oh, a river! The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has River strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks! Oh, man. <laughs> Choke up on the bat, Miranda. <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. Yeah, softballs are really big. They're like grapefruits hurtling towards your head. Yes, but I will still be around, lurking so hard. Okay, but just curious, because you always gotta, it seems like you and Guy Prime always gotta put the kids to sleep, but I understand, because kids are a lot of work, I assume. Like, almost as much work as dogs or a cat. Tabitha can put herself to bed, though. 8-Bit knows how to lurk real well. She's like pro-yo. <laughs> Currently lurking too, getting ready for bed and watching GPM Key... King Solomon, I have no idea what that stands for. 
Hmm. But yelling is fun. <laughs> Give it a shot, it's cathartic. Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> Leave it all out on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're gonna have to bleed for it. Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't go gonna bring a Miranda to D1. <sighs> Dad, please don't fight any other dads while we're out here. Grand Prix Milwaukee. Magic the Gathering Tournament. Oh! Interesting. I never would have guessed there was like a Milwaukee Grand Prix for magic. Stand for Guy Prime making kimchi edition. <gasps> if Guy Prime made kimchi, I would so watch that. Just because I love kimchi and I put it on everything. I put it on my salads, I put it on my ramen, I put it on my rice. That's about it, but that's pretty much all I eat. We watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't re ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. <laughs> I know I'm such a creepy lurker, I'm so sorry. No, don't say sorry, 8-bit. I just, I'm always curious what time the kids go to bed. Kimchi for the win. Oh, kimchi is so good, you guys. If you guys, maybe I'll start a P.O. box so that everyone can send me kimchi in the mail. Lurkers are the backbone of Twitch. They really are. Keg Stan Craig is good with children. Whoa. Ah. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into the center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. Ouch! Hey. See? It's completely justifiable fear! The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Oh, Craig makes a beeline for her, checking her forehead and com comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. 8.30, currently chasing my daughter down to give her a bath. Oh no! <laughs> that I'm so sorry. Well, I guess that's a good workout, right? To put it positively. Actually, tomorrow I'm taking Tabitha to the vet for her annual checkup and vaccines. So I feel like I'll have that experience of running down and trying to capture her. Like you're running down and capturing your daughter. So not super comparable, but whatever. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm taking Tabitha to the vet tomorrow. But I'm super excited because I get a discount on all my all of her vaccinations and stuff. And I get to show all my coworkers my adorable cat. My nephews had a whale-shaped tub when they were first born. I was like, retro, hi. Oh my goodness, three miles in a minute and a half when it's bath time. <laughs> like so many burned calories. Say hi. Oh, retro. I want to uh, VIP your ass. Uh-oh, GP in the house. And VIP 8-bit Beatrix. Aw, uh, thank you. Your kids are also adorable. At least your daughter from your daughter that I've seen. She's really adorable. Oh, snap, I'm VIP. Of course you're VIP. If anyone's VIP... And I'm sorry I haven't seen your streams lately, Retro, because you seem to be streaming a lot more when I'm working <laughs> during the day. And I, like, check my phone and I see you're streaming and I'm like, fuck, I'm at work. Uh. Okay, the game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to be have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. <laughs> oh, 
A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Tabby cursing GP, confirmed. What? What? What does that mean I'm cursing? I'm not cursing anybody. What are you talking about? I just love looking back at my beautiful daughter. I close my eyes and brace for impact. No worries, we all hook up whenever we are able. I love it when you're there, as do we all, but you're a busy woman, it's all good. Okay, thank you for understanding. Hopefully, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up, I won't be as busy this coming week, and hopefully I can do some surprise streams as well as watch some more people. Gremlin boy Kevin, Kevin yes! You finally catch one of my streams again. Ah. Oh. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, how are you doing tonight? I hope you're good. I close my eyes and brace for impact. <gasps> I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amuse amazement. Huh? Everyone say hi to Gremlin Boy Kevin. He's super nice. <gasps> I caught the ball. You saved me. Huh. I caught the ball! Dad, I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's, ten it's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understands. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team's team has declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Oh, oh my god, you made an amazing dad. <laughs> Thank you. I did it with the help of my friends on stream. Huh? Great, great job, everyone. <laughs> He's a Saiyan in training. He's a Saiyan dad with a sick beard. I love him. <laughs> we all love him. And he has egg booby woobies. Or egg tits or egg nips. We can't decide on a on a title for that. <laughs> we walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the patient parents. Sliding into the chat like K Biz. Hi K Biz. How's your night? Everyone say hi to K Biz. <laughs> yes, everybody spam. Everybody spam that K Biz. Oh my god, yes. Everyone spam so hard. Eggy nips. <laughs> Eggy nipples. <laughs> egg nips. Egg nipples. Oh my god. I should write a list. A list of all of your creative names. Craig, great work, man. Oh. Thanks. We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar, Briar and Hazel? Oh. Chest key. Checks. Chest Geese, like chest eggies. <laughs> That's a hard name to pronounce. We need Karma here to call him Egg Tits again. Uh, I hope Karma comes. Yes, how I am good. I hope everyone else in chat is good. I have been studying mostly, and it's nice to get back to the game. The game. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello. <laughs> I can't think of a name or a voice. Hey, killer playing out there. Hmm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Mm. Yeah, it's oh, me. Oh, yes, daddy. <laughs> okay. King Solomon, thank you for the 36 bits. My boy won. Yay. <laughs> This is not a game. This is a way of life. <laughs> Your Kigu is amazing too. My Kigu? Oh, my my onesie. Thank you. Yes, I forgot the Japanese name for it. But I did get it off of that Japanese website that has onesies of freaking everything. The PJ. Who's your daddy? Oh, okay, this. Thank you for the hundred bits. 
<laughs> I love all of my all of my bed alerts. <laughs> um, good looking out. And do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all her math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. Who's your daddy? <laughs> okay, but... For the oh, onesie. For the onesie. Thank you, 8-Bit. <laughs> oh my god, that face. Such amazing alerts. Thank you. I love my daddy alerts. I never want them to end. Nice. What? <laughs> nah. Craig just says nice. We will talk about this later, girls. Hmm. Tabby, bro. I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Oh, here we go. We got some bitch trying to steal my man. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Thick. Moist. Moist and thick. I don't know, I just wanted to say those words. Amanda and I share a look. The look, capital look. Hmm. All right, all right. Oh! <laughs> oh, that a sexy daddy alert. <laughs> kind of, kind of sexy. In a way. Thank you, Apit, for the 69 bits. Thank you so much. Thick. <laughs> Apit's favorite word. Does everyone does anyone cringe at the word moist? No polish. Amazing. <laughs> Thick. <laughs> Need the two C's, definitely. Alright, alright. Is it cool if my bro comes along? <laughs> I can't do Craig's voice without saying, bro. The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up, up, up with a smile. Of course. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Hmm. What? It's a real place. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called... Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Apit loves it for love is for moist. Oh no, Apit, <laughs> what's wrong? I'll stop saying thick and moist. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we got into our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Ew. Iggy nippy booby wooby shirt. Yes. Not this one, but I wish I had one in real life. Moist. I can't say thick without saying it like thick. Thick. <laughs> ah. Pizza. Pizzacos. <laughs> it's like you have to say it with an accent. Pizzacos. I could never forget. How do we survive college? Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Can't say thick without saying like thick and oh yeah. Like macho, ma macho man Randy Savage, oh yeah. Hey, give me a pe give me a pizza that. Oh, Greg. Ah. Craig. Dad puns. No, absolutely not. Not when you ask like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Oh my god, Kbiz, I can hear it. <laughs> That's what I should have more bit alerts with oh, Randy. Oh yes, daddy. <laughs> oh yes, daddy. <laughs> Managed to farm four bits. Thank you, Paul, for the four bitties. I love that. You know that that alert sound is from Caillou? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, puppy bitties are the best. 
Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Dad. A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Mar oh, this one's Martha this time. Everyone, everyone wants a piece of Craig, because they know he's on the market. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. Need those biddies, eight bit. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all gotta farm those those bits. I certainly do. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male m role model in their lives. Just pawing at him. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Hey, but that's the cutest. That's the cutest little thing. Ralph or Z, that's so cute. Craig smiles sheep sheepishly. Oh. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> Look at all these, all these side eyes. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him, I should throw him a bone here. You throw him some bone. Created diversion, tag team with Amanda, smokescreen, sm smokescreen Martha. Eye emoji, knife emoji, these moms need to stay away from the dad. They need to stay away from Craig. We also need the, uh, the, uh, eggplant emoji. Create a diversion, tag team with Amanda, smokescreen, Martha. <gasps> smokescreen! And pocket sand. All right, we're going to back, we're going back to my wingman days. I gotta run the blocking play. So, Martha, it must get lonely without Daniel. You know, I also happen to be an eligible single father. I wiggle my eyebrows at her. <laughs> can Why can I not do it? Like... <laughs> oh, Brickizzle, thank you for the host. How are you doing tonight? Oh my goodness. Hey, oh my gosh, that's, that's the eggplant. Polish is sore, but good. Getting some vitamin tabby is na in now and hanging out. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, my mom just booked her flight to come see me for Christmas. Vitamin T. <laughs> vitamin T for tabby and thick. <laughs> oh my god pass. I remember that working better in the past. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. Uh, my smokescreen didn't work. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, she just texted me. Uh, my mom said, good luck to you and Tabitha tomorrow. She will do fine at the vets, I'm sure. Oh, I told yes, <laughs> Daddy. Oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> King Solomon, thank you for the ten bits. Vitamin T. <laughs> Because I was telling everyone I'm taking Tabitha for her annual checkup at the vet clinic I work at tomorrow. Uh, so I'm taking Briar and Hazel tonight for the sleepover. Oh. oh. <laughs> Craig likes having that free time to himself. Yep, you, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Kim! Hi! Hi, Kim! Everyone say hi to Kim! <laughs> Uh, I've started a meme in the channel already. Vitamin T. <laughs> and we started vitamin T and thick and moist <laughs> tonight. Kim, yo, is that the daddy you, cho you choose? I'm choosing more than one daddy right now. I'm just going on different dates with different dads and uh, sort of playing the field. Because I know people wanted me to uh, hang out with Craig. Kim, why are you upset? That I'm going out with Craig. Why? Why the sad face? Why the tears? 